Hey, 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 good morning, everyone. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for November 13th, 2019. So today we have kind of an interesting day um, that we're facing, and who knows how long um, this kind of this cycle could could last. But let's jump in here and talk about the chart and see what's going on, and then we'll get into some of the details of things that could really create some interesting issues for us throughout um, the next few days. So let's take a look at the diamonds chart. The bulls right now have been very, very strong, uh, clearly holding us up very, very well. Everything is looking positive here overall in the market. Um, we have uh, bulls are certainly in control and there doesn't seem to be, um, at least at the close of yesterday, any reason to believe that they're not going to maintain that control. Now, this morning we have a little bit of, of a problem. We're showing a little bit of bearishness coming into the market with a gap down open here in the market expected to be somewhere around 100 points. It's rallied a little bit so far this morning as earnings reports and things like that come out. But we're looking at a little tiny bit of bearishness as just concern over um, trade war and some of the day's events might be bringing a little fear into the market. Asian markets closed in the red last night. European markets are all in the red uh, so far today. And that is certainly having an impact here on US futures as well. So we're looking at gap downs um, in the market here, uh, probably looking at the VIX um, catching a little bit of a bid here this morning, a little bit of fear maybe coming in. So let's um, watch this pretty closely. Now, um, I think where we are right now in the market, we have a lot of defensible places here. If we start to sell off, first we have a little price support that was established here the other day on the gap down. So we have some price support there that could hold. We have a substantial price support level right through here. Um, obviously, that would be a pretty painful sell-off if that were to occur, but um, we have some price support here in the chart that is likely to hold us, and who knows, we could certainly get this kind of gap down and just rally right back like we um, did the other day. So who knows what um, it will actually bring. There's just a lot that the market is trying to digest this morning. So let's take a look at the SPY. SPY, very much the same thing. Left behind a little bit of an indecisive type candle here um, yesterday bringing out a little bit of concern but you know we do have a price support level right through here and um, although we're gapping down this morning um, so far that is showing the opportunity for hold we've got a really nice trend in place and we've got plenty of other levels of support in this chart to um, potentially hold us up now that if we start breaking down through those, I, I'm not discounting this, that would be very, very painful for a lot of folks. But right now, um, I wouldn't panic here this morning seeing this gap down, just a little bit of concern. And honestly, after such a big rally in the market, a little rest, a little pullback um, would make some sense. So don't get too panicked about it until we really see those bears really starting to take over and right now the bulls are so tenacious um they're gonna they're not gonna give up easily let's take a look at the cues the cues also a little bit of indecisiveness here in that candle pattern yesterday and this morning we're getting a little bit of a gap down here the cues pushing back lower but not nearly as hard as uh, we're seeing in um, the other indexes but certainly a concern this morning i think we're going to be okay if we kind of hold in this support level here we'll have to wait and see trend is still strong bulls are still in control 
still in control. So just a little rest or pullback. Maybe we slip into a consolidation, but not too much here to worry about. Um, and certainly no reason to panic, at least so far this morning. Let's take a look at IWM. IWM um, really left a, a bit of uncertainty um, behind yesterday. Um, another wick up here really kind of showing where those um, sellers are coming in and now we're gapping down this morning and as you can see we're gapping down below that support level that i talked about yesterday it's going to be interesting to see how um, iwm deals with that if we gap down here and bounce right back up or if we gap down and see more sellers to drive us back down uh, toward this downtrend support in the chart. We'll have to watch, wait and see. There is some price support right across here that may hold. And then of course the price support in here that could hold. So let's keep an eye on that. But um, just a little bit of a concern this morning, nothing to really get up in arms about. Let's take a look at the VIX. Now the VIX is likely going to gap up this morning we, we have been um, sitting around um, here in the VIX, um, playing around off of these support levels um, here for a while. So we have a bit of a triple bottom forming here, uh, possibly in this chart. If the fear really starts to come in, we'll see that fear start to spike up. And right now, I'm um, looking at the VIX. Um, the VIX is looking at only about 69 cents higher this morning so not a massive panic yet and I don't think we're going to have too much trouble until we really start to see um, levels like this being breached if we break up above there then look for that fear maybe to spike up here a little bit toward this next resistance level in the chart so let's just stay focused on the price action. Let's not get too panicked here. Um, watch closely. Um, remember, we just had a, a day just, just two days ago where we gapped down and the bulls brought it right back. That's possible. Could be the same situation today. So who knows? Let's uh, don't panic. Don't make that knee jerk reaction. Let's focus on the chart, focus on the price action here in the chart and uh, try to make some really good decisions uh, based on our positions. Let's take a look at T2122. T2122 is the four week new high, new low ratio. And I brought this up to the right way options folks yesterday that it was interesting, even though the market did try to rally back up and was trying to hold, the T2122 actually slipped just a little bit lower. So it, what we're seeing right now is we're, we're seeing specific stocks being pushed. You know, uh, the, the Boeings and the Caterpillars, um, those big, big heavyweight uh, stocks in the index is pushing slightly up and that is holding the market up, but it's not broad based. And so we're seeing that um, T2122 indicator continuing to slip just a little bit. That's possibly a little bit of clue. I mentioned that yesterday to um, the fact that the bulls may be worrying out just a little bit and we're seeing that gap down this morning that certainly could affect us so let's keep in mind that we still have you know a pretty big open space that we could move down but remember we also have plenty of upside opportunity here so if those bulls can get a hold of something today if there's something in the news and there's going to be a lot of news today something in the news that really um, inspires them that could perk back up and rally right back right back up so we don't have a directional assumption here from our t2122 just the fact that we have a pretty significant opportunity to move um, in this market so just keep your eyes open and focused on price action let's take a look at our economic calendar here for today now our economic calendar definitely has a few things that's going to be um, interesting 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 today so First off, this morning, 8.30 a.m., we have the CPI number. The CPI number could be one of those really important numbers to, that moves the market. 
we'll want to stay focused on that. Uh, when that comes out at 8.30, we could see a reaction in the news. Then we've got at 11 o'clock today, Jerome Powell begins his conversation with uh, the Joint Congressional um, Economic Committee um, talking about, uh, you know, policy and, and what's going on. It's his normal normal testifying um, at Congress. And that is going to, as you can see, we're going to have him here and we're going to have him here as he speaks for the next couple of days on Capitol Hill. Um, also keep in mind, we have just a parade of speakers continuing, uh, Fed speakers out there yakking up the uh, the world with all of the Fed speak out there. And that's going to continue uh, for the rest of this week. Now, let's talk about what else is happening on Capitol Hill. It's not on the economic calendar, obviously, but we are going to see the House while Jerome Powell is over there speaking uh, to the Joint Committee. We're going to have the House beginning um, presidential impeachment hearings, and we can expect that to turn into... Um, well, just a lot of political drama. We we might be we might see some um, interesting price action around that. We could see um, knee jerk reactions in the market depending on what's revealed, what comes out. Um, one of the things that I would I would suggest as possible is after we get the CPI number and we get that morning gap down, we could see. The market just get really stale and quiet as we wait for these big events on Capitol Hill. So um, all eyes are going to be on Capitol Hill this morning, and I've never seen that as being a really good thing for the market when we're all focused on political events that are are happening. So we could see the market get a little bit stale and choppy as we wait for some of these events to begin and uh, things to be revealed. And who knows what will come out of that. We'll just have to watch that pretty closely. I would I'd want to suggest to everyone to be very flexible uh, today. Don't overcommit one direction or another. Remain very flexible. Stay focused on that price action. And always remember that if you have some nice profits in a trade and you see the market really starting to affect those positions, it's not wrong. It's not wrong to take some profits and protect yourself in a market like this because we really don't know what could occur, what might be revealed, and how the market might react to um, all of this political drama. So just consider that and, and, and be prepared for just about anything today as um, the market has to digest a tremendous amount of, uh, well, just political yuck um, we'll have to get through. So watch that close. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day, and I want to wish you great profits. And oh, by the way, I forgot to mention that we have about 160 companies, uh, a little over 160 companies reporting earnings today. So we'll want to pay attention to those as um, they roll out. Now, I don't see any big major mover market movers um, in the list today. Tomorrow, we're going to have like Walmart and, and NVIDIA reporting. But today, you know, we're looking at Cisco. Cisco will report today. Um, we'll want to keep an eye on that. NetApp reports today. We'll want to keep some eyes on that but I don't see anything in there that's going to be that really big market mover today so um, all eyes will probably be on Capitol Hill uh, Jerome Powell and and what the house is doing over there on the impeachment hearing let's um, 
go back over here. Now, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, I want to ask you guys for a favor. Um, please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then click that bell icon when it pops up so you can be notified every time I post a video. Also, if you feel that the video is worthy, if you got something out of this, please do me a favor and click that thumbs up button and also leave a comment. That helps an awful lot, helps to keep the channel growing. And I just want to say thank you to everyone who does take the time to do that. Honestly, you guys, um, you're awesome. I truly, truly appreciate it. So with that, how about we look at some stocks that could be setting up. Now I want to remind everyone that every every stock that I bring up in these videos is meant for um, your watch list. It's meant for review. It's not a recommendation to buy or sell any security. So keep that in mind. Let's take a look at Altria. The old mighty Mo. Mo in here, as you can see, nice little head and shoulders pattern, inverted head and shoulders pattern has formed here in this chart. And it's interesting that we've broken this longer term downtrend, held it as support. So we broke through, held it as support, and we're rallying higher. I had a price alert on this chart, let me show you, right here. And that price alert triggered yesterday. Now, I actually didn't buy the stock. I have so many positions on, or enough positions on right now, that I really didn't feel like taking any additional risk. But this morning we have um, the possibility that Mo could pull back just a little bit and settle in. So if it settles in and still shifts over toward this trend, we might wanna watch that for an opportunity. So I think there's more than one chance to get into this trade. And um, Mo looking pretty decent um, at the moment could set up um, nicely for a trade. So watch that one closely. Another one I think to pay attention to is AMD. AMD had this massive breakout here in the stock. It's run up nicely and now it's consolidating that move. So we've run up and we're consolidating over here toward the trend. I'd want to keep an eye on this. It tried to pop out yesterday. The bearishness of today might keep it um, rather subdued. You can see it's looking to open about where it closed, maybe just a tiny, tiny bit lower this morning. So it might be just a little bit more sub subdued here this morning. But let's watch this. If this uh, continues to consolidate and moves over toward its trend here, we may have an opportunity to enter into that position. I'm still keeping an eye on O'Reilly. O'Reilly is a pattern I identified some time ago. I actually um, saw this rising wedge here in the chart. And unfortunately, earnings got in the way, and gapped us up into this area. So I'm watching O'Reilly here. Um, as it kind of settles in. So we gap up and we kind of settle in and chopping it around, put alert here on the chart, but I wouldn't wouldn't think that it's that it's likely to just take off from here. Um, I think there's a good chance, and particularly with the news of the day, we could um, just continue to kind of slide over here toward the trend. So keep an eye on it in case it goes early, but O'Reilly um, definitely looking pretty good and could be setting up for a potential trade. How about KHC? KHC is a different kind of chart. It is a what we call a rounded bottom breakout pattern. And that rounded bottom breakout pattern actually has completed. The original rounded bottom breakout pattern requires a break of the 50, a whole Old, and then we look for that rally up toward the 200 day moving average. Unfortunately, earnings got in the way and I don't know if I've mentioned this, but I hate earnings because they create all of this all of this weird price action in a chart and make a real mess out of a good technical pattern. So what I'm watching right now is we've broken above that 200 and I want you to notice that we've just settled back down. We're settling back down into this support and trying to hold that support. So I've got a little price alert on here, this little price wedge that's forming in here. Now I wouldn't be too surprised if this has to consolidate a bit more more because of our current trend. Our current trend is kind of out in here. It may have to rest a little bit more, but um, I want to keep an eye on this and see if this can actually break through. And honestly, if this were to break above here, 
I would have some interest in um, KHC for a position. Take a look at Cree. Someone in the trading room yesterday brought up Cree. Really nice looking chart. And um, this is another rounded bottom breakout pattern. What we're looking for is we're looking for this stock now to hold. We've broken through that 50 day moving average. We're looking for that to hold in here. And you can see I've placed an alert right along these um, you can see that level right through there with my um, alert line. What I'm watching and waiting for is to see if this stock can actually pop up in here. Now, I don't know if it can, if it will, or if it won't. It doesn't really matter to me one way or another. What I do know is that I can wait for it. If this has to consolidate a little bit more, no problem. If we need more rest in here and then it goes, got no problem with that. So let's keep an eye on Cree might be one that you want to put on your list and pay attention to. You know, I mentioned um, Netflix the other day and Netflix is still in that potential range. It's that rounded bottom breakout pattern popped up and now we're consolidating that move. We've tried a couple of times to break out. This morning with the gap down and the uh, little bit of bearishness that we're seeing, we may see Netflix pull back in here. So Netflix could slip a little bit lower, but I think as long as we hold above this area of support right here and continue to build this little box in here, I think we're gonna be okay. So let's watch Netflix here and see. Um, we don't know how long it'll take for that pattern to, to develop, but I can tell you there is a little bit of a clue that it could chop around and move all the way out over here toward this trend before it goes. So plenty of time to plan a trade in Netflix. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all the very best. I want to wish you a great day. You know, it could be one of those days that it may be better to just kind of stand aside and, and kind of watch. You know, go pop some popcorn, put your feet up and watch the show that's going to unfold in Capitol Hill today or around Capitol Hill. It's going to be a real busy day of news and events that certainly could move the market around. So stay on your toes, stay focused, and I want to wish you all the very, very best today. Take care. We'll see you all bright and early tomorrow morning. Have a good one, everyone.